Thank you. Earlier this week, Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone made big news by announcing he is shutting down the famous tent city that was built by former Sheriff Joe Arpaio. That move got a lot of people talking and joining us this morning. The Sheriff himself, Paul Penzone. Good morning. Thank you for being here. Nice to see you. Appreciate it. So, what's the feedback you've gotten on uh, shutting down tent city? Mostly positive, you know, and oddly enough, some of the criticism more so has come from out of state than, than mm -hmm. the local residents. And I think the biggest aspect is, is truly the education process because I take great pride in making sure that my decisions when we have the time frame that we use that time to really be um, processing and determining all the information. When don't just make it on, on uh, forgive me, no, but no, don't, on, on a motion. So um, it was not an easy decision to make, but we were methodical in the process. And when you uh, make that point, we remember when you came and visited us right after you had uh, won the election, you had said this was one of the first things you were going to look at and you weren't going to make any, you know, drastic decisions yet. And it's, you know, several months now have passed. Sure. You looked at a lot of things that came into making this decision. Yeah, and not only I, but, you know, the executive staff there, let's be honest, I had never run a detention center before I took this office. I had some exposure to it, but I have true professionals in this organization that every day have done that. So the most important counsel was coming from them. And overwhelmingly said, no, this is overdue. We really do need to shut down. This is why. So we went through the process and, and the data. And at the same time, you're aware, I, I empowered a, a third party, a spear committee, to give me their sites. And these are business professionals from Former different Attorney walks General of life. Was yeah. that up. And it was a very diverse group. Politically, professionally, you know, uh, culturally, every aspect of it. So I take that counsel and then I make my decision based off of that. But truly, the best counsel comes from those within the organization. All right. Uh, one person who did react to this, as you can imagine, was the former sheriff, Joe Arpaio. Let's listen to what he said about it just after you made that announcement. Sure. A circus. That's an insult to all the dedicated detention officers in 24 years that worked in the tents. So you did say the circus was over. Is that something you stand behind? Do you regret saying, calling it a circus? No regrets whatsoever because I was very clear about it. I said it became, it became a circus for, for the public. And, and I could easily argue that when you start parading people through that facility and you promote it in a manner that's not only national but international, not necessarily for the betterment of this community, but to draw attention to it, you've actually done more to undermine and disrespect the men and women who do the job. Because any success that went on in that tent or in our detention centers, is because of the men and women. It's not because of the other nonsense. So I'm not going to get into a, a debate with the former sheriff over this issue, but I take my job serious. And the other thing I take very serious is that when I sit here and I speak, I'm not representing myself only. I'm representing the organization, the men and women whose names you don't know, whose faces you don't see. And they're the ones who do the job. They're the ones who deserve the respect. And they're the ones who deserve the commitment to ensure that I make that environment as safe as possible for them. So, um, yes, it was a circus atmosphere when we're parading people through it. I don't back off on that because it's true, and the circus is over. Okay, before we wrap up, any other changes that we can expect in the future that you want to talk about? I don't think any is uh, as, as big as this because this did draw so much attention, but every day we're trying to improve the organization, and most importantly, we're trying to improve our relationship with the community that we serve because our public safety is most paramount to all of our families. Mm -hmm. So we have to be serious about the business that we do, and we are. Yeah, so what you'll see is more methodical, and forgive me, Troy, yeah. more methodical and just professional behavior from this office where we're focused solely on our mission. You're getting rid of some of the military hardware that was... Sure. Yeah, like the, what? The, the tank's been on the side of the road forever, so the Department of Defense will be picking it up. It's actually their property. Um, we did cycle out. You know, I'm not going to get rid of the, the pink items until they wear out, but we have started cycling new items in, which are white in color. Um, so it's really just, let, let's just be fundamentally sound. Let's, let's be serious about what we do, and let's be very good at what we do. Sheriff, thank you for coming in today. My pleasure. I appreciate it. Always good seeing you. Thank you.